Hello everybody! Welcome to an episode of What's the Plan? Today's plan is... Empire. Uh, I know very little about this game other than it's sort of a uh, dungeon creation game. I believe this is going to be us in a minute. Uh, where we are going to create our empire. Or empire as it were. Um, as you see, this game actually came out yesterday, at the time of this recording. Uh, I have never played this game before, so I have no idea what's going on. Although, apparently I can join some people's uh, games. I'm going to basically just create a, uh, a new one, and, uh, you know, only let it for myself, private game. Uh, normal difficulty, I suppose, should be fine. Um, as you can see, that is uh, me on L Steam. Uh, I guess we can pick our color here, though. So let's see what we got. We got some green, some oranges, uh, purple, pink. I think we're going to go with purple. It's dark. It's regal. You know, it contains everything. Uh, I have no skills. Uh, this will unlock the mage abilities, and so I don't know how we unlock these things. Uh, clawed feet. So, it's, so I'm guessing these are, like talents that you can get eventually that will lead down. Uh, we are ball. Uh, so much, I'm level one with very little damage and armor. But I do have some spells, apparently, so I can summon a worker, uh, which will summon a worker to material, well, to materialize, I suppose. Uh, I can shoot some lightning, which does 100 damage, far greater than our 7.5. Uh, we can uh, create a unit to, or select a unit to explode, which will heal friendly units versus doing damage. Uh, we can teleport teleport a unit or force full squad uh, anywhere they could walk. Uh, da -da -da, but it lowers the aggressiveness of the units by five points. Now, I don't know if aggressiveness is good or bad. I'm assuming we would want them to be more aggressive, so no clue there. And we can summon a turkey that runs around in an area and explodes when damaged. This does 80 points of damage within a 5 meter area, and it's considered a trap and can only be used in our dungeon. Now, from what I understand in this game, it is a dungeon building game again, but you can also send raids out to the world, I suppose it would be. Uh, so that is what it means by in your dungeon. So, uh... Let's just actually get in it. You see what it's about. about your daily business of flogging the mindless slithering masses, covering the steep walls of your bottomless domain. When you feel someone yanking at your soul. After a first attack of unease, you found yourself quite excited by the prospect of being pulled away from a job that had started to seem kind of tedious and unrewarding. Boy, are you in for a nasty surprise. So this is basically explaining her backstory. Hell you are a demon. Salabim, Akio Impu, rise from the dark. Oh, Hellspawn, join me to orchestrate a symphony of destruction that will echo across the land of the Sidrian kings. Hell Salabim, Akio Impu. What? I, I did it. After forty years of trying, I actually, uh, I mean. I bid you welcome to the realm of Ardania, O oh mighty tormentor, spawn of the eternal night and underworld. Oscar Van Fairweather is my name, and I am your master. Or rather, think of me as your father. Uh, no, wait, uh, not your father. <laughs> Scratch that. Definitely not your father. I am your advisor. I am not a fan oh, of this crap. guy. What have I fallen into this time? You can speak! That's amazing! I mean, I have obviously conversed with demons before. <laughs> Powerful ones, too. Arch demons and such. But tell me, what is thy name, Imp? I am Baal Abaddon, the creature of the bottomless pit. Uh, I didn't really catch a proper name in there, but uh, never mind. <laughs> I will call you something really awesome. Something to inspire anguish and fear in our enemies like... Uh... Slayer, or uh, Demon of Death, or maybe just Death Slayer. Yes, that's it. Oh, really You're not listening guy. to a word I'm saying, are you? 
You're welcome. Now, let's have a look at you. Spin around, spin around. Oh my, you look fabulous. Colorful and evil and radiant like, like a shiny red rainbow in the dark. You think? Moments ago, I was 15 feet tall and wreathed in flames, you quack. This incarnation stinks. Yes, yes, I understand. No doubt you want to know why I've summoned you. Well, enlightenment will be yours before long. For now, I can tell you this much. Heed my counsel, and I will give you the world. You will reign in blood. Men will crawl at your feet, and you'll have thousands of pretty maids dancing for you in their unmentionables. Okay, now you're talking. Now what's the catch? Would you please stop squeaking for a moment? Now, before you can indulge yourself, there is work to be done. And before work can be done, you need to convince me that you've got a true appetite for destruction. You are testing me? That's absurd. You're a moth testing the bonfire, little man. Would you keep quiet and listen? Nearby lives a piece of trash named Malister Cruelly. We went to school together, majoring in demonology. He was a pompous prick then, and now he's even worse. He thinks he's so superior, when in truth he is no smarter than your average doorknob. Your first task is to rob Mr. Cruelly of everything he owns. After that, I want you to crush him to death. I will adjourn to my office, but we will stay in contact telepathically. So don't worry, I'll guide your steps. Just make sure you dazzle me. You're standing in my cozy little basement. It may not look like much at the moment, but I promise you, it has the potential to become fantastically nasty. To aid you in the remodeling process, I will first teach you how to summon a type of worker demon to help you. Why not make it two while you're at it? It's easy peasy. As a demonologist extraordinaire, I am of course knowledgeable about the fact that you demons perceive yourselves in a fairly odd way when summoned to the Ardanian plane. As if you were seeing yourself Life. in a third person What's through the point a picture anyways? frame of sorts. Anyway, to summon a worker, try this. First you right click on yourself, whatever that means, and hold the button pressed. Keeping this button pressed will bring up a context menu where you simply need to select the summon worker icon to summon it. Complicated stuff being a demon and all. Hope I got that right. Alrighty, so now that that's all uh, sorted, that's the story of this game. As you can see, this is basically the start of our dungeon. Uh, you can actually scroll with uh, the mouse wheel to get to this view and see uh, what's going on. You can scroll in to zoom in. Uh, moving with WASD and Q and E to rotate, so the controls are fairly simple. Uh, Here I go again! Move a ball around. So, we have that. As you said, we, it looks like we can summon something from up here, but we can also right-click on our guy and summon him this way. You should also know that the amount of workers you can have around is somehow linked to your dungeon's reputation. Ah, you'll figure that out eventually. Hoxie poxie Fiji Splendid work so far, Deathslayer. Now, minions love to work and eat. According to Virgil Danton's Guide to the Rim of Hell, they are particularly fond of spores, molds, and fungus. Order your workers to repair this mushroom room so they have somewhere to collect. To repair a room, bring your uh, mouse cursor over the room, click and hold the right button to bring up the context menu. Then put the cursor over the wrench-like tool icon and release the button. Repair! So this is again the tutorial area, uh, as I have not... It's not letting me move off of the screen, which is a little annoying. But as I said, I've never played this before, so we're going through the tutorial. Uh, good to know, and hopefully you learn something too. So, I now know nice mushrooms are good. Food produced in there will allow you to summon more minions to serve our cause. We also need someone to cultivate and harvest the food, so let's order one of the worker imps to do so. Select the worker standing in the room by left-clicking him. Then, assign him to the mushroom room by right-clicking on the ground in the middle of the mushroom. So we can also gamble away. 
which we can't do right now. I'm just curious to see what it is. Uh, he dives to earn some points towards a free friend unit. Okay, interesting. He also has the ability to explode to heal everything else around him. And teleportation seems locked. I also wanted to see. We have two out of five workers. Although they don't count towards our total dungeon population, so that's something worth noting. We have five active traps. Uh, it seems we have mana regeneration rate of five every two seconds, I'm assuming. Uh, with 160 max mana, which we're at. So we can actually... Oh no, it's... We have to do this right now. Great! So. It's working! Just so you know, another option would have been to bring up the context menu for the mushroom room and select the call worker option. Mm-hmm. And am I in control again? No. Still not in control. Uh, let's see. We have zero out of fifty treasures. Oop, and we have mushrooms. Death Slayer! Our mushroom operator just dropped a bag. But don't worry, that's a loot bag containing mushrooms. You'll need a stock room to store them. I happen to notice there's an old broken down stock room next to your mushroom room. Open the stock room's context menu and select repair. This will send a minion to repair the room. Oh, how fantastic! Now any worker who hasn't got more important things to do can go searching for loot bags and carry them to the stock room. Just watch that little bugger go! So look at him go. Oops. This must be one of Cruelly's minions posted as a sentry. Oh, it's a berserker, no less. I want it. Quickly, attack it with a lightning bolt. Bring up the context menu of the enemy berserker and select the lightning icon. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? I will study the corpse and soon be able to teach you how to summon such creatures into your service. Build yourself a nursery while I dissect the corpse. That is a room allowing you to spawn minions of your own. To construct a new room, you can click the Management Mode button, or you can... Hmm, let's see. You can smash the hotkey, whatever that is. And <laughs> this will sound totally deranged, but once you have selected to build the nursery, you're supposed to be able to rotate the room before placing it in the world. You do that by right clicking before finally placing it with a click on the left button. Okay. Uh, I don't know the hotkey for management mode, but we can just click it here. Although management mode apparently is the same as scrolling out almost. Uh, this apparently is our nursery, possibly. Although, let's see. Nursery. Ah, see, there we go. Ah, but they want us to place it here. And here alone. So we can't place it, you know, anywhere we want right now. Tutorial area. That's okay. We're just learning the basics. So, get our nursery up and running. I'm assuming the free worker will have to uh, do this. The game is not letting me do anything at the moment. There, here he comes. Ah, oh, finally. He's going to dig it out. As you can see, this is part of the dungeon building portion now. Oddly enough, this image is not going away, so I can't see what he's really doing. Um, there we go! Oh, I almost forgot. The nursery needs a worker to do the actual nursing. Summon a new one and assign it to the room at once. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Summon to achieve the system. Let's call it. Um, call it. Oh, man. Eat, sleep, slaughter, eat, sleep, slaughter. So, Excellent. I'm done with my research. So bring up the context menu of the nursery. You should see the berserker listed among the basic units. Select it to spawn yourself elite. a brand new berserker. One final note about so the nursery. More damage, the spawning armor. of units costs you some food, and the amount varies depending on what you spawn might be good to keep in mind. Five mushrooms, we now have 35, so we can summon a couple of these guys. Oh, he 
He's adorable, your first little impling berserker. If you let him wander, he will attack any enemy he sees. <laughs> to make even better use of him, you should partner him with other units by assigning him to a squad. To add the berserker to one, open the squad's menu and simply drag the berserker icon onto the first squad location to the right. Make a squad of our four berserkers. Create huh? another berserker, but this time try spawning him using the management mode. Open the menu and click yeah. the units button in the lower left of your view. Then click the berserker icon. Yeah, clever. Once he's ready for action, go back to the so squad nice menu and, and assign it to the same squad. Excellent! You can assign up to four units to each squad, who then will begin to behave differently than they would as single units. They will help each other out, gain experience and special squad skills. Your squads will be on guard duty by default, but that may be changed in each unit's context menu or in the squad menu. But we'll get to that later. Now it's time to locate more of Cruelly's minions and squash them to goo. It's time to pay Malister cruelly a visit. To reach his cellar, you must order the workers to build a hallway. Start by clicking the squares I have highlighted for you, and our minions will get the job done. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah. Hallway. There we go. Uh, still learning, but now it means our workers should be at it. We can get to our squad since they are group one just by hitting the uh, one key and double click to center on them. So we'll get our squad up here because who knows what's on the other side. Ah, a gate. Deathslayer, remember that you are the only one who can interact with such objects. In order to gain access to the next part of the dungeon, you'll have to go there and pull the lever yourself. Then, take a look around. Just like with uh, number one, tab targets yourself. So one and tab, you can swap between the two. Although there's a good chance I might want him on my squad. I am Fantastic! A new oh, type of minion. Give me a moment to study the carcass, and you'll soon be able to summon them. Yeah, but we can't assign ourselves to a squad, so that is okay. There you have it! Now you can grow a scout from your nursery. Create one immediately before you finish cleaning up the area. Okay. So these guys have less health, higher damage, but they are long range. Pop them in a key right there, so we've got two scouts going. Which uh, uses up rock, apparently. I'm assuming we get rock from digging these hallways. Out of the pit. So now we will go to our squad, since we have two scouts, and swap out for two scouts. This way, more balanced. Now we cannot actually get squad two, but hey, that's okay. Explore the dungeon and kill the enemy units. Blah, 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 blah. And we need, actually, myself to pull the lever. So, as you can see, so far it's sort of dungeon building, dungeon crawling itself. I actually did not expect it to be a dungeon crawl type of system. So, we do have that going for us at the moment. Shit. F out of there. Apparently this guy can't do much damage to me anyway. Uh, plenty of health. But now we have a priest. More minions coming up. Just give me some alone time with the corpse. This will now say summon a priest, at which time we will do so. Finished! Take a look in the nursery and summon yourself a priest or two. They are really awesome. Let's see if we can actually... Oh, look, Death Slayer! A sparkly, gleaming treasure. 
You have a new objective. So our objective is to uh, open the treasure chest. I'm just curious if we can still dig anywhere we want at the moment. Which appears we can. So I'm actually going to dig out a little bit. Try to get some stone. I don't know if that's uh, anything, but hey. It means we can unlock a second squad. So we're going to basically dig out a room. Yeah. Apparently, if you have hallways in this manner, they cannot be dug like that. Good to know for the future. But yeah, as you can see, oh, we are at maximum stone. Uh, which means we can go to our squad menu. Nope, can't do that yet either. Trying to be too clever for my own good. But we will go to the squad menu and now add a priest. Yes, we can squat one. Go here. Oop, here. And we have these two guys. And there's the priest. I know this is a tutorial area, but you can never be too prepared, I suppose. I'm taking this way too slow for me, even. But Uh, our berserker did take a good amount of damage. Uh, take a look at the treasure chest. But it's open, and all its glittering content is added directly I'm to our treasure chest. Well, well, look what was found at the bottom of the chest. A teleport spell. Memorize Light. it and you'll be able to teleport yourself and any unit or squad anywhere you've already visited. I'd imagine that you can cast the spell from the unit's context menu and... Hmm, try to open a context menu anywhere on the ground and see if you can't move both yourself and your squads to that exact spot. Okay. Okay, so that was just us. Now I target the squad. Oh, there is one thing I should tell you now that we've started hmm. filling our coffers. Accumulating wealth will allow you to buy more squads. It will also add to the dungeon's reputation and attract more heroes. And more heroes means more fun. You uh, see, treasures are the best. One final Let's and, see. I dare say, crucial note about treasures. I love them. If you allow one single treasure pit to be destroyed, I will be extremely disappointed. So disappointed, in fact, that I will return home and leave you here to rot. So a suggestion. Guard them with your life. Teleport here. Death Slayer, watch out! Your triumphant riot has lured a valiant but foolish hero to our dungeon. You still have some time to prepare. I recommend that you create a squad with four units. We have two of those, so we are ahead of the game. But, I don't know why the teleport is not working. We have plenty of mana. Squad one, teleport here. Please? So we have... So he's coming in from over here. So we're going to bring both of our squads. Let's see, a wizard and a warrior. Uh, squad one is our more rangy squad. Squad two is now three berserkers, so it's our more tanky squad. So I have squad two lead the charge. See how this goes. Oh, yeah. Jake. That's the way. <laughs> I like it. A good, clean kill. From now on, you'll have to keep an eye out for more heroes. Now that they have found us, you can be sure that more will enter our dungeon. There we go. Okay. Apparently, teleport is right-click. I have no idea how I didn't realize that beforehand. I feel the need. Uh, we hey, will Death get... Slayer, oh, there's a gateway in the chest room. I bet it leads to Cruelly's basement. Let me activate it for you. There, it's working now. The gateway acts as a bridge between two areas. 
This one leads here. To use it, simply select a unit or squad by left-clicking it and then right-click on the ground on the other side. The squad will automatically use the gateway. Oh, and two things. First, your teleport spell only works in rooms you've already been to. Second, watch your back out there. The enemies will be tougher. Yeah, teleport ball here, teleport squad here. <laughs> Bam. Again, squad two is the more tanky squad, so we'll have them slightly ahead of squad one. And we'll send them both in. So it appears that this game is a mix of dungeon building. As you can see, we're building our dungeon. This guy is sort of off at doing whatever he wants to do, so, you know, we'll let him enjoy that. Squad 1 and Squad 2 are... Oop, Squad 2 got its butt kicked. We lost a healer and a berserker. That's okay, because again, we had plenty of people to go around. Oh, um, typical. Mr. Cruelly has a blasted security door to keep us from reaching the area beneath his residence. Seems we need a password. Mr. Cruelly's girlfriend, the dancer slash nurse slash nymphomaniac named Marlin Rouge, will definitely have the password somewhere. I will mark the location of her house on the world map. If her judgment is as bad as her taste, she will keep the password in her diary. And as I remember it, she used to hide her journals in the staples. So let's start having some real fun, shall we? Let's terrorize the surface with a raid. More precisely, let's send a squad to Malin's stables to fetch her diary. Just now we balance that squad out a bit better. And now we have to go to the world map and see what's going now on Now that you are viewing the world map, locate Malin's home. It looks like a book on a golden background. And open its contacts menu. Then select the number of the squad you want to send. Mm, we'll send squad one there, the leveled up squad. I'm assuming the number of skulls reflects the difficulty, possibly. Uh, win the raid to earn treasure. Just 50 materials. Materials. You know what? Since this works. Yeah, the squad's already assigned to this raid. So I'm assuming they're gonna take their time with that. We will exit out of world mode. And the two squads are off, they're gonna have to should have teleported them here first. Always something to learn. Teleport your squads to the entrance prior to sending them off. This guy's still working away. I if we can add another worker. Nope. But looks like our storeroom's getting filled anyway, so we'll, I'll allow it. It slices the views. You can see yourself on the map. Teleport yourself around from up here. Everything's nicely uh, labeled. So you can see a storeroom, uh, two workers as well, just chilling out. Sorry to push your perspective around, Death Slayer, but I thought you'd like to see our squad raiding the stable. Yeah. Handled those stables pretty well. Treasure-wise, treasure -wise, we're still at 15. Now, I don't know if we can view this raid. But it does appear that we can... It's cool on cooldown for three minutes. But Squad 2 is on its way back, so I can only assume that they succeeded. Heroes are entering your dungeon. Oh, crap. Heroes are entering our dungeon. Nicely done. Let me study the diary and I'll get back to you as soon as I found Cleric and an archer. So squad 2 is hey, just yes, returning. It seems one of our units is less than satisfied by how you run things around here. The little bastard has gone soft because he's hungry. He's almost out of aggressiveness. As long as he's out of aggressiveness, he's about as useful as a bar of soap in prison. Immediately order the construction of a kitchen to produce more and better food. Then summon a new worker to operate it. 
You have a new objective. Okay. So now we can finally build our kitchen. Apparently, even though it appeared the raid might have been successful, uh, we can't actually be doing that again. Tutorial section. So now we can, now we can place things where we want. That appears. Enough room there. So as you can see, we can start using this that we just built. Uh, we can even place it here if we so desire. And we'll place it here, and then we'll also connect it to this. So we'll just build that out, and then we will build that to there. So now this is connected from a number of places. As you can see, group one is down a man. So we are going to need to summon someone new. So, but we did also get more treasure. We're up to 40 out of 50 because we killed uh, the heroes. Now, what is group one missing? Group one lost a scout. So we'll make a new scout. We like the group one composition. Now we have to... No workers are available at the time. Hmm. Actually surprised by that. Because we had... Oh, it's because they're... Uh... No, it's not because they're doing that stuff. Weird. Well, let's summon a new worker. Nice and easy, just like that. Ah, uh, they're all gathering materials. But luckily, that is all that it took. Great. Now you can send the Gorolai suit to the kitchen using its context menu, or you can teleport it directly instead. If there is enough room, it will eat right away. If not, it will wait. Eating will refill part of its health and aggressiveness. One of these unit armor. Okay. Unit weapon upgrades. He's looking better there. already. Body and control. While I extract the password Follow from the diary, leader. you should use the time in a more constructive way than just standing around waiting for heroes to drop by. It's nice to get back at Malice to cruel. But it would be even sweeter to see the Babarbian Ballet Academy burn to the ground. I will never forgive those constipated bearded ballerinas for not letting me develop my true talent. I'll mark the location of the Academy on the world map. Send a squad to raid the basement and set the building on fire. Okay. So we're going to send squad two to this one. Get them a uh, bit more. So we have to set a building on fire. I'm assuming that's going to be the gold. Here we go. The Ballet Academy. So we're sending Squad 2. Now, luckily, we place Squad 2 right at the entrance. So, bam. That's the nice thing. We can watch it sort of travel the map. <laughs> Miss Rouge is quite the minx, I say. Considering the graphic details in the diary, it's a... Real shame that she chose Malister over me, but <clears throat> that's blood under the bridge. The door is open. Get in there and clear out the basement for the final part of the plan. We have everything settled. We're gonna. So we are now fighting that. Uh, we don't quite want to go in yet. We kind of want to wait for other squads, since there is a whole squad in there as well. Although we do have lightning. How do we use this? Let's see. Well, we know how to use it in that sense. But heroes sure. are entering your oh. dungeon. I always have to deal with heroes. Nurse. Oh, my God save our squad some life and group up so we can take out the heroes yeah. 
shoot some lightning. Now, now these guys are gonna be over and around. Aren't you groups are doing just fine. And it appears there is a little bit of treasure materials. Hopefully that'll get us to maybe a third squad, but again, this is a tutorial, so I expect it to be over relatively soon. And we can teleport over here now. And finally... Now you see me, now you don't. Oh. Alright guys, we'll engage. Pizza cake and a squad leveled up. So both squads are now level two, although squad one is almost level three. Now. So I approve of that. I feel the need. So as you can see, this game might be a little slow at times, especially I think getting Excellent. started. We're ready. Let's blow now. the residents to smithereens. Build up your troops, and when you're done, send them through that gate. I'll join you on the other side. So this lightning definitely helps a lot. Uh, it takes care of the enemies. Squad hit level 3, so they're probably uh, going to be doing some great uh, damage in comparison. Although, kind of want them to eat. But we don't want them to eat like that, though. We want them to teleport over here and let them eat. We'll also take squad two over here. So squad two. Since this it appears to be the final battle, or the final section. Eat, sleep, slaughter. Eat, sleep, slaughter. So we'll get all prepared. I don't know what lies ahead. I know it's going to be easy, but... Group 2 is eating, getting all their aggression is back as well. Piece of cake. Let's get everybody back here. Out of the pit in and here we go. And bring ball to the waypoint. What did it do? How am I there yet? Maybe it's just ball. Okay, okay. Out of the pit. In There's a lot of stuff that's sort of glowing. Here we go. Both our squads against this guardian. Send some light this way. See our manners are generating though pretty well. Mm, let's send our guys to destroy this. He's just gonna keep walking around. Is there any more? One more that will destroy. No more eating food for him. Obviously, we can't see around that corner because of those. This sound is pretty intense. I don't think you're... Oh shit, food regenerates, apparently. I did not expect that. So we can destroy it before he eats it. So that's glorious. Come on up here, we're gonna destroy this one. And I failed miserably. Holy crap. So 
our squads are not looking so hot right now. But luckily we can uh, beat into the punch with a teleport. Use that to destroy the food. Hopefully. Oh no. Nope. So this is actually very embarrassing. Although I'm now going to kite him around a little bit and let my guys regenerate. Oops. I have to stay back. Regenerate. Oh my day! We don't want our squads to die. So. There. Squad two. And here. We go. Probably gonna walk right over here. Get our whole squad here. Take it out. Light and vault him. He's gonna run away again. This time he's going to this one. Take a squad here and destroy. It. And now we can handle him for this out. Oh. My dungeon increased in level, so that's at least worth it. Oh, sweet demon Ooh. of mine, we did it! Tomorrow's Town Cryo News will read Malister Cruelly Killed by Death Slayer. We squashed him like a worm. And you know what? We can have even more fun with the barrels of diseased rat meat on minions just found down here in the basement. I have a positively devious idea. Right now, the people of Fabarbia are drawing their final few breaths of unspoiled air. Alrighty. So this has been the first look at Empire. Uh, you watch Scrub actually get through the tutorial. I will admit, I feel really bad at that end. Uh, it was kind of pathetic. Uh, but hey, got through it. None of my guys died at the end, although they did die a little earlier. But this is the first look of the game. The first mission, sorted out. Uh, the tutorial, I think, is mostly passed, so it should be quicker from here on out. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, will try to make some more videos. This game is actually fun when you're playing it. That was just a short little review. Uh, again, the tutorial was a tutorial. It's a little bit slower than I think could have been. But we definitely... Uh, it'll pick up, I believe. When, especially once you can just say, Hey, create your own thing. That's the point of the game. So, thank you again. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.